I would never wear like game no. I actually outside. like downright get offended like when I'm looking at a cap or shirts on Amazon and it's, it's like it says Adidas on the front. Like, why am I paying you to be your billboard, bitch? You should be paying me if I'm gonna be wearing your logo around. Well, I'm fine. I'm fine with that for some reason, but like actual video game merch or movie merch, I like. I would never wear that outside. I don't think. There is some cool ones, though. Oh, I've absolutely yeah. seen cool ones. There are some decent ones, yeah. yeah. I, th- I think it just becomes an issue when it turns into an addiction. Like, I don't mind people even having those little figurines and such if, you know, if it's a gift or something. Some Funko has Pops. Value. Yeah, I'll, I'll go yeah. a slightly different... I would draw the line of Funko Pops, but... I'll go a slightly if different... If it has some value ugly. to you, they are so ugly. But if it has some value to you beyond just, you know, you coping and going, no, no ethical consumption under capitalism, and then you put, like... 112 of them in your Amazon cart <laughs> and you adorn your entire room with them. That's that's an issue, I think. That's like I'm, f- I'm fine with people buying merch, but can you not buy Funko Pops? They're so fucking ugly. <laughs> I hate Funko Pops. <laughs> they're so dumb. I think but it's all fine so if it's not if it's not your personality. You yeah. Know, if it's not just like, oh, I I am Absolutely. a fan of this. That's me. It's like, no, you can you can express yourself, but have a little more to yourself. You know? I think I think that's what my aversion to like wearing brands and merch outside is, or even just like having a bunch of them is. I I don't like the idea of people thinking that's my entire personality. I don't like being associated with like brand audiences. Like what, kind, what kind of? You mean like a Walking Dead T-shirt or something? Yeah, or, or like Star Wars shirts, yeah. or you know, I don't mm. know Jurassic yeah. Park shirts, or anything like that. Stuff like brands. Yeah, that's fair. I think that makes sense. Mm-hmm. You've got my approval. I it's... <laughs> Thank you. I mean, yeah, I agree. It's 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 like cute when I see a little kid, like a yeah. you know, toddler wearing a Minecraft onesie. But once it's an adult doing this stuff, it's like okay. What would you do? You can play Minecraft, but yeah, what would you do gross, if you uh, were walking around in your daily life and you saw a Minecraft terrible, terrible, not even ironic T-shirt, like? Like, it, it had the slogan, like, oh, I'm a creeper in my daily life, and, like, Minecraft pictures and all this gamer shit, but it was on the most ripped, jacked man you had ever seen. It says something like, creeper in the streets, Steven yeah. Sheets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was just totally not ironic, cringe slogan, with, like, a creeper and, like, a backwards baseball cap and shit. Yeah, I'm not going to confront him. This, this is the same <laughs> argument when, like, you have these muscular men in their trucks are wearing those shirts that say, like, this is what a Republican looks like. You come in for my guns, I'm going to shoot you, and I'm going to protect my dog. And it's like five sentences on the back of his shirt. Like, I'm not going to confront him. About yeah, it. I, I think, think the dumb, only but... thing worse than wearing that uh, creeper, in the, uh, creeper in the Streets, Steve in the Sheets <laughs> t-shirt or <laughs> Minecraft merch stuff, the only thing worse than wearing that is getting beaten half to death by someone by, wearing that. By <laughs> someone wearing that. <laughs> yeah. so, so, I, my favorite are still those shirts, it. though, with like the... The really shitty airbrushed skeleton yes. thing. Oh, it's so good. Like to double so barrel. Good. I, I buy my friends those. <laughs> Where do you find them? I can never find them. What do, you, what do you mean? They're everywhere, man. No, like good ones. Yeah. Like I just see the ironic ones now. I can't find the genuine ones. You gotta oh, go to yeah, Facebook Marketplace or Amazon. Uh, I feel like to find the authentic just... ones though. You have you have to go straight to the source and go to like Facebook and start following some. What's like, the? Actual you probably have to. Join a f- like flat Earth or Facebook group or something. Maybe what is to the, get the authentic stuff? What's the subreddit <laughs> that like posts them every like hour? Like all kinds of different something ones? wolf. Yeah, what, isn't it like ugly wolves or something? Is it ugly wolves? It's it's Forget, something. I, I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. I haven't about. been there in a minute, but I love those shirts, man. I also love the really stupid, simplistic ones. I, I will never forget this shirt, yet I can never get its name right. I saw it at Walmart one time, and it said, Speed is the thrill, or something. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I need that shirt, but I didn't get it for some reason. And I really regret it. It was clearly meant for kids. Like, it was celebrating <gasps> speed, like, just going fast. Not in relation to anything. It was a, it was a lime green shirt that just said, oh. Speed is epic or something yeah. i don't know i really wish i could... told us the subreddit by the way it's called the pack the pack with very the shittily pack. photoshopped skeletons with text but yeah like a lot of these are ironic though. i know that's, that's why the i want problem. the authentic ones or like made for the meme basically yeah ex- yeah that's what i meant it's oh hi this is how goofy it looks like this this shit was only funny when it's actually coming from a place a genuine, of being genuine place mm-hmm. yeah 
and it, I mean, during the early <coughs> 2010s, this was like prevalent everywhere. Like actual people were posting stuff guys, like this unironically. So, somebody posted this. I paused my game to be here shirts and just reminded me. Have you guys seen this viral video going around where some dude is playing a video game on his PlayStation or something? And his girlfriend comes in and turns it off. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. And he yes. goes, This is all I have. And everybody shat on the woman too. But it's like at the same time, the guy says, This is all I have. Might also want to reconsider his life. I actually yeah. fucking laughed Ugh. at that moment. Wait, think about it. think about if you're living with someone like that woman though, who's shoving cameras in your face and filming your reactions and like just basically uh what was the word like? Kind of egging oh, that, you on. The moment on. people do that, that is that is the ultimate breach of trust to me. That's like such a red flag. Yeah, I would immediately I'd, yeah. have the relationship. The Straight moment we have an there. argument and you take your phone out to like humiliate me publicly, or you go on TikTok to talk about, you know, there's so many women. They just go on TikTok and know. they say, "Dude, I, I put don't... my boyfriend on parole. He he now has to behave better." And I gave him a ba 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 ba. It's like, why are you doing this publicly? Uh, so I read odd. a I read a really sad story on Reddit a while ago about a guy who got a divorce because of that, where um he had a kid with his wife. And she really wanted to be one of those like Instagram mommies like, oh, here's my special little child and here's what we're doing. And look, here's mom tip and blah, 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 blah. And eventually, eventually she caught on and her page got really big. And after that, her entire life revolved around filming it no matter what, to the point where he was like, I just can't even take care of my kid because I'll buy her a toy. And my wife will say, that's not aesthetic. That doesn't look good on camera. And she'll throw it away. And eventually he had to fucking divorce her. God. Oh man, that must That's fucking suck upsetting. losing the love of your life to f- that. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. Like clout TikTok. addiction, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. It's oh totally God, fine it's so to devote your life to content. I, I mean, we're friends with someone who does it right now. Charlie films a lot of parts of his life. But the difference between Charlie and other people who are smart about this is they know how to step away, they know how to have a life beyond living on camera. Whereas there are people who don't can... now. Can be your I would hope that if that Charlie built your life to it, I would hope that if Charlie ever had a kid, um, he he wouldn't be one of those content goblins that makes the kid like the star of the show against their will or anything like that. Like I don't yeah, know Charlie many people that do. That's just dangerous. I, well, I, I, I don't like, like kids. I don't plan on having kids. But B, I feel like that's just a dangerous thing to do. Like to put your kid in all the content that just opens them up to something they can't even like consent to. Like. That, mm-hmm. who knows if the kid even wants that attention there's so many fucking weirdos online too like it's just I don't know that, that's always I'm, been I'm weird yeah, these parents say be, the, the kids love being there needs to be a being... new law yeah. like a retrospectively suicide